So my name is uh, Anthony Van Munsteren. I'm uh, a full-time dairy farmer. I'm 36 years old, currently the captain at Station 71 in Navin. Four kids, uh, Holland, Ambrose, Ella and Tice. Yeah, married, live on the farm. Life is, life's good. So, uh, yeah, as a full-time dairy farmer, we milk about uh, 105 cows, feed them, clean them, take care of them, 300 animals total, and it's basically 300 kids that you just got to take care of all day long. Pretty busy, it's steady, it's, it's a seven days a, a week type of a job. Um, I'm on the farm with my father full-time, as well as my, uh, my cousin Jesse, as, long, as well as his dad. So. Uh, it's kind of a family affair that we do here. It, uh, we work well together, it goes great. It's, yeah, it's busy. It's, it's a good, great life. Hi, bud. <laughs> yep, so I'm a volunteer firefighter. I've been volunteering uh, since 2004. Um, I became a volunteer actually when I was uh, attending college in Kempville. And uh, so 18 years, I became a lieutenant, I believe in 2012, so that's about 10 years ago, and then I became a captain uh, in, two years ago now, it's been just over two years. I have a lot of family that, that were firefighters, either full-time or volunteers. That had a lot of influence on me at a young age, basically. I, I saw them going to fires, going to help the community, going to help people. So yeah, you could say it was part of family, part of my own interests, wanting to help the community and, and just kind of having uh, another hobby kind of away from the farm. Managing the busy life basically of a, a dairy farmer, a uh, family man with four kids and being a captain in uh, Navin. So uh, it takes a lot of support, most definitely a lot of family support. Um, biggest one is definitely my wife. She's a big part of that. She supports me 120%. And you know, when you gotta leave, when that pager goes off, the pager goes off. Um, also family, you know, people on the farm, my family on the farm. And you know, there's times where I have to, you know, take off during the day, we get calls. And, uh, and they gotta keep working and while I go and basically help the community. So um, it's a lot of support. My parents, my parents are a big thing. And so it's, yeah, it's huge. Yeah, everybody's very supportive of it, and that's that means that means a lot. At the end of the day, you need that support. Basically, it's it's really important. So he does the fire training with with his gear on. With my what? Gear on. With my gear on? Well, that's important, right? Got to be safe. What do you think, Tice? I'm four. <laughs> Is it worth the time and effort? Of course. I mean, I've, you know, I've been doing it for 18 years. I, I still love it just as much as I did when I first got on. Um, I'm a little slower now. <laughs> you know, I'm not 18 or 19 anymore and as much of a go-getter, but, uh, but no, it's, it's definitely rewarding. It's, you know, the big thing is that you're helping the community. You're getting out into the community, doing these, you know, the events with the community. They recognize you, they recognize the fire service. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, I love it. I would, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's a, it's a great time. And I would, if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it the exact same way. It's, I, you know, I got on when I was 19, I think I was. And yeah, it's been great. Really supportive.